we want to do some contains and remove. And when you know it's in the set, that's not hard to do. So let's just go ahead and string all you oh, I can't use a use it there. This is the bad idea of using single letters as your variable names are going to run out quickly and they don't make any sense. All right, so B is Chris, S is our set, and we're going to go contains B. Now, this is going to be a Boolean, so we better print this out. I can catenate that. Uh, I do want to put the actual value in here and there we go don't need that line uh oh where's our oh all right settle down we're not there yet all right so this contains Chris true okay so that works if you already know what's in there, but maybe you don't know what's in there and you want to just get a random element out. You know that there are things in there. You can check the size. So let's write a method that's going to get a random element out. So it's going to return a string because our set is uh, initialized somewhere with string in it. So we're going to get a string out of it. I passed the set S is declared inside the main method, so it's not accessible unless we pass it as a parameter. So I'm going to pass the parameter S to the get random method. What we're going to do is actually really similar to what we did before. I'm now going to push that inside the get random, but I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Int I equals zero. Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm strongly regretting my decision to use one letter variables in this video series. So J is zero. Now we're going to need a random object to go iter iterate a random number of times. I realize I'm violating my one letter variable convention, add import, that should be all we need, random, and value equals rand dot, somewhere in here we get next int, but I want to put a bound on it, so it's going to be between zero and whatever I put in here. So I can get size, but remember, you don't want to go to size. You usually want to stop at size minus one. Int n value while has next and j less than end val. All right, I should not be iterating the too many times because I was careful to set my end val to be maximum of size minus one, and I think it's not inclusive. So I don't think I will get size. I think the largest value I'll get is size minus one. So I should be okay here. So this is going to iterate. Next, I'm going to go plus plus J. And I'll just print out A as we go. Uh, let's get crazy and not print anything. And then we're going to return. <clears throat> I want to return A right here, but if you look at the way it's declared, I can't return it because the return is needs to be outside the while loop. So I'm going to do a little trick right here and just push the declaration here. Now, if you want to get crazy lazy, split in a declaration and assignment, and then you can push that up. I just had that thought. Look at that. I can be incredibly lazy. And we'll return A, it's going to complain because A may not have had an initial value. No problem. All right. Whatever you want to do when there's an empty set. Uh, 
All right, so we'll get empty set if there's an empty set. All right, let's go ahead and use this now. So instead of setting b equal to Chris, let's do string b equals get, what did I call that thing? Get random and sending it s. Uh, static. Everything here needs to be static because I'm calling it from a static method. That's going to change. All right, let's run this. We should. Oh, look at that. That's weird. Thinking I should start it at negative one. So we got Chris, Rosa, Nicole, Chris, Nicole, Jan. Okay, good. We got all four. All right, there we go. Just tested it out. So here's my get random. Again, I use an iterator, which is sort of like almost, it gives a natural ordering. I shouldn't say the word natural. It gives an order to the elements so that you can go through it. And I went through it a random number of times and at a certain number, whatever this random value was, is when I stopped. So this is how you can get a random value out of a set and notice I didn't, start out knowing any elements inside this set. So I can do contains, I can also remove, and none of this should be surprising. Let's go duplicate that, do another sout, removing, and we're gonna go with s.re, remove, B, oh, I guessed right. B is that random value we're getting. Removing plus B, and then we'll see the result on the screen. All right, so removing Nicole, boom, S is right there, and we should be getting Rosa's out, Rosa again, Nicole again. Anyways, it should remove any of them. Where's Chris? There we go, now Chris is gone, perfect. All right, so that's how to get a random value, how to remove. Uh, I don't think there's a get. So you may be wondering why there's no get. Well, that's because remove, that means you already have the object, so you don't really need to get it. Uh, there's only a remove and an add. Uh, and we'll go for the Boolean operations next. We're gonna go intersections and unions, and we'll put some numbers in.